All right, well, since I'm so bored and uh, hungry, and there should be a fucking chimichanga in here somewhere. Don't matter. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so we are going to fix this thing. Panasonic microwave. Um, as you can see, it's kind of dirty from whenever the roof leaked in here. Uh, water dripped like practically right on it. But uh, before that, the problem was that the turntable would quit spinning. So uh, we're going to try to fix that and clean it up a little bit. It's really t uh, too good of a microwave to throw away. It, it's very, very good, actually. Manufactured August 1980, so it is 30 years old. But uh, I just now plugged it in over there and turned it on. And it does still work, uh, just the turntable part. So we're going to try to fix that today. And uh, I'm going to set the video on pause until I... Uh, get this off and show you inside of it so be right back alright so we now have the uh, cover off and surprisingly it don't look too bad in here uh, could stand just a little bit of cleaning uh, I think what I'm just gonna do is put a see if I can make the turntable spin again and even if I can't it's not really a great big issue it just you know won't heat as effectively but uh I guess just put a pan of water in it and heat it up and maybe loosen some of the crud up and clean it up and we should be able to use it again. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. It's been a while since I cracked this thing open and all that I had to do then was just change that bulb. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to set it to pause again, see if I can fix the turntable, and be right back. Alright, so anyway, here's the uh, plate that goes on the inside that the glass plate sits on top of. Uh, I just now took it in the house and cleaned it up a little bit. It had a whole bunch of sticky crap on it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let that sit somewhere and dry. don't really know where. I guess we can just set it right here for now. If I don't hurt anything. Um, so, uh, the bottom part, here's the uh, piece that the belt goes around. That belt right there. And it's, you can see the motor in there. It's, well, I don't got the belt off of it, but anyway. It's nice and loose, just like it's supposed to be. Well, yeah, I think it's just catching on the belt there. Anyway, that's good. Uh, thing here is still good. Magnets are still good on it too. As you can see right there, it's kind of sticky. So. After that, there's not really any more gunk on there. So I'm hoping that maybe it was just the, that crap on there it was making it stick. Hoping that's what it was anyway. And uh, that this will fix it. And after that dries, I'll throw it back in there. We'll uh, button all that back up and we'll turn it on, see if it'll go. Uh, hopefully it does. So... Once again, be back in a minute. Alright, so we got that uh, magnetic piece put back on the bottom like it's supposed to be. Got the belt attached and uh, lubricated the little shaft that it fits on. So uh, before we uh, put the uh, yeah that metal tray back in, it's corroded a little bit, so we're going to sand it. And I got a little bit of white paint there. I'll just touch that up real quick, let it dry. Uh, put that back in, and we'll see if it'll run. Alright, actually, we're just going to skip the painting part. I uh, did a little bit of sanding, then I took a little bit of Windex and vinegar to it. And it actually cleaned it up pretty decent. Uh, not perfect, but 
it'll work. If I just come back in a few years and do it again. So I'm just going to shake this thing off. Eh, good enough. Throw it in here. As you can see, the magnets have caught it. Go ahead and put that off just a bit. Shut that over here somewhere. Here's the plate that actually goes to this microphone. Alright now, hold on a second, I'm going to set the phone down and put the microwave on that chair and we're going to see if it'll work. Alright, we got it sitting in the chair, sitting in the chair. And uh, bring the cord over here, plug it up. Try to step back over here. Hopefully, this will work. Ah, that wasn't but a second, but it looks like it's going to go ahead and spin. Go ahead and set it for six seconds. Well, there you go. It's working. Now, uh, <laughs> I got me a new microwave. Good as new. So, uh, now we just take that cart and gotta clean off the top shelf and set this on it. And, uh, we'll use it. And, uh, y'all kind of missed me shocking the shit out of myself. Because when I was trying to put that belt on, I stuck my finger wherever it was. Yeah, back in there, tried to fit it through that hole to get to the motor. And I hit that disconnected lead to the capacitor, and it, it bites pretty bad. I hate electric shocks. I'm used to them, but I hate them. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this thing cleaned up, put back together, and you'll see it in action. Alright, so it's all, oops, it's all put back together. And, uh, yeah, I almost dropped the camera there. It's all put back together. So now we're just going to wheel it on over here, plug it in, and microwave a bowl of water. Loosen some of the crud up inside. then try to figure out what I'm going to do over there since the car is out of there now. I think I'm just going to leave the car over here. But anyway, while I'm cleaning the place back up, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this water in here. later. Start off at five minutes. Go ahead and start that. Hopefully it don't blow up while I'm away doing other things, but if it does, I guess I'll just have to throw it away. Too bad. Uh, yeah. Well, 
they need a little bit more space. I'm probably just going to set that card over there where them chairs and coolers are. And I'd actually like to leave the microwave sitting over here somewhere, but as you can see, there's no outlets on this wall. They're only on that wall. My great-grandfather built this side. The other side had, like, two outlets on each wall, except for the front one where the doors were. Then uh, he built this side, put only two outlets on that wall. And uh, that wasn't enough for me, so I did go ahead and add that one right there. Need to add some on this wall. But yeah, nice little place. Got my microwave, fridge. I could live out here. Oh well, catch y'all later.